What's going on, guys? Drones of Dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> All right, guys, so we back out here with this little Mini 3 clone. I call it the Mini 3 clone that I got from Banghood, guys, for like 20 bucks. <laughs> and this is going to be the second test flight. Now, the first flight, guys, if you've seen the first flight, make sure you check that out. This guy has a... Uh, 1080p supposedly well they say 4k camera but i'm gonna go with like 720p basically they say 4k on a listing this is the single camera version so it does not have the dual optical float or you know the dual camera version just has the single camera version and this guy you see looks like a little toy great mini three now i wanted to come back out here and do a follow-up with it because the first flight it seemed like it went into an early lbc warning i couldn't do no flips with it and what I think it would, what I think with this drone is, I think it just does that. I think it just goes into an early LBC warning. So if you want to test out the flips or anything like that, you only got about 30 seconds to a minute to do flips with this bad boy before it goes into LBC. Because I noticed once it's in LBC, it still flies for a great long while. I mean, for a good few minutes. So I just think it's an early LBC warning with this drone. So you're going to get a couple minutes to do flips and stuff like that. And we're going to test that out today. Just a quick test flight again because uh, I just think that's just what it is and sometimes that's just the case on these cheaper Wi-Fi drones they they have the flip function but you shouldn't be really flipping these brush motor quads too much anyways because that'll really just kill the motor so I mean so I guess that's kind of a good feature that they did that so they make it so you can't be doing too many crazy flips so I mean, it is what it is and it is breezy and chilly out here today guys so this is going to be a quick second test flight uh, this here bad boy so let's do a um let me do a level calibration i should have calibrated wow train over there guess the train is coming that was a loud noise train so let's go ahead and get into the app and i don't even think i'm going to do a screen record i'm just going to go and get directly into this um app for this bad boy which i think is the um let me see what this app is connect to the wi-fi first because the RCFPV Pro app. Yeah, RCFPV Pro is the app that we want for this bad boy. Click on start, and there we go. Let me go ahead and fix my camera to level it. It's already flashing. Okay. Level, and let's just go ahead and jump right into the high rates. Start the recording, automatic takeoff, and there we go. So let's try to do a flip right away. See, flip right there, side flip, front flip, because I know we're not gonna have a lot of time to do flips, so I'm trying to, okay. All directional flips, you guys. So I just wanted to show you guys, look at that, that bad boy looks nice. Even during the day, a little cheap mini three clone. I just wanted to show you that. This, look now, see the lights are flashing, so no more flips. <laughs> so you got about a good thirty seconds to do flips with this bad boy, which I said, which is not too bad. You shouldn't be doing too many flips with this little brush drone, anyway, because you will prematurely, prematurely kill out the motors. You don't really want to do that. So let's just fly now. Second test flight of this. Uh, I think they call it the GT2 Pro. I can't remember, guys. So many crazy names and stuff that they come out with these drones. So we are in a third rate. Like I said, it is kind of breezy. This is a super lightweight quad, so you don't want to go too high or far when it's windy and stuff like this because you will lose the bad boy. You will lose it. So we've got a minute or so of recording going. And as a flyer, I mean, it does. It flies good. No lag in the controls or nothing like that. Typically, with these little cheap Wi-Fi flyers, you get, like, lag in the controls. And, you know what I'm saying? You can just tell this one just flies really decent. It does. And I was actually kind of surprised for the price point. I was expecting to have the lag in the controls and it to be glitchy and all that. This thing flies solid, guys. For a little $20 drone, it really does. It flies solid. This is a great, what I call a great beginner learn to fly drone. We don't really have to learn, worry about the camera too much. I mean, it does have a camera. That's what beginners want. But this, as the flight characteristics, it flies pretty decent. And that's what you want. About 2 minutes, 15 
15 seconds of recording. Got some kids behind me over there. this bad boy out this thing is fire pretty decent and this is the single battery version that i got so you can get a two battery version three battery version of course it just goes up and more i think it's like five bucks each time or extra five bucks each each battery you add so and you can also get a non-camera version that just has no camera on it which is what i definitely would recommend for a beginner because you don't have to worry about a camera at all you could just fly this bad boy and Get your flight skills right. Three minutes of recording here. Flying pretty good. Flying pretty good. So I forget what they say, what you're supposed to get on a single battery. This is an 1800 milliamp hour battery, but it is chilly and it is fighting a little bit of breeze. So I don't know, imagine we would get the flight time we would normally get on a nice, Warm sunny day. Got the kids over there. See the kids over there. Here on this chilly day, it's flying. It's a decent flyer. Decent flyer, guys. You really can't complain at all. Four minutes of recording. Still flying pretty good. I don't know what I don't know what that kid is doing out there way out in the field. You see that kid way over there in the field out there? What is he doing out there? And then you got another one running over here. What are you doing, kid? So that's cool that you can kind of just see what's going on. So four and a half minutes of recording. I'm going to stop the recording. Stop the recording just to save something. And we'll just check this bad boy out. Get a close look at it. The GT2 Pro. Uh-oh. And there it's landing. Auto landing. So there's our flight time, guys. So we're going to get, I'll say we get about six minutes maybe of flight time with this little bad boy. Which is not too bad. A little cheap drone from... Bang, good, pow, 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 pow. All right, guys, second test flight. So definitely, if you're interested in picking this up, I would say get the at least the two battery version so you get a decent amount of flight time. With the two batteries, you kind of get about 12, 13 minutes worth of flight time, which is not too bad, you guys. Not too shabby. 20 bucks. So I'm happy with it. I'm your boy, Drone the Dogs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next episode. Deuces.